Hello everyone, you are welcome to Things World Show. I am Adeola Adetoye. I am Shola Jegede. Don't be quick to assume. This show isn't just for teenagers, it is for everyone that makes up their world. This includes every member of the family, the church, the society, the government, and of course you. Yes, it's a world where everyone has a role to play in building a godly generation for a greater tomorrow. Exactly, and it's going to be a weekly program. Yes. So we look forward to seeing you every week. Don't miss any episode. You won't want to miss it. I'm very sure. <laughs> All right, Shola. Let us go straight into what we'll be discussing for today. Yes. But before then, we're watching a very short drama clip. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Friends, are you ready? Okay, let's go. I wasn't as big as this before. I was slim, beautiful, but now I'm just big. All my face is filled with pimples and this monthly menstrual cramp. I do just like this new me. I want to go back to that, my slim stature. I don't like it. I don't like it. My name is Olumide Oki from Things Watch Show. Can I meet you? Yeah, my name is Miriam. Oh, Miriam. What, what a lovely name. All Thanks. right, so um, I have a question for you, please. Um, how were you able to embrace the challenges that come with puberty stage when uh, you emerge the stage of puberty? Although it was not that tough, it was easy for me because I have uh, experienced before. Because when my sister just, when she reached her puberty stage, I was like, Auntie, a show my green in She was like, it's okay. <laughs> I was like, Emma, as in, I was doing that, that. When she touched it, she was just like, ah, it's my lady. And she ran back to my mom. My mom explained everything to her. Then later on, she also explained to me. So I understand much about the puberty stage. Yeah, growing up as a girl child, I don't really have much difficulties in blending my way of life to my puberty stage. Okay. But I, because I've been well informed about the uh, processes wow, even before lovely. I got to the stage. So eventually when I found myself in that scenario, I was able to play along without stress. Wow, she has been informed. That's lovely. Is that from your sisters or from mom or yeah, from, from internet? or? From parents, um, in school, and also newspapers, you know, social wow. media. Wow, that means, that means you read a lot before well, that stage. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I also understand that um, at, at that stage, people have challenges with um, menstrual cramps and the likes. They try to say, my stomach is paining me, and I use one drug or the other. What are your experiences during this period? Okay, well, personally, I don't have okay. such cramps, but some girl child do experience such and there are lots of um courses okay at times it can be physiological okay and at times it can be it can be a um, man's um inbuilt okay like it can be as a result of what you're taking okay. so it depends on the person's way of life as in the lifestyle lifestyle yeah so it's it really tells much more okay all right that's lovely. i i think nowadays you know the things of this generation, I think they are lucky because during our own time, there was 
nothing like sex education, so to say. Okay. But now I think it's now becoming rampant. They are, they are being educated about what all these things is all about. So I think the first thing you actually need to do in knowing that this thing will actually be, because if, either as a lady, sorry, as a girl or as a boy, mm. you, you get to a stage whereby you start developing all these things. So the first thing is for you to actually accept it that changes will occur, whether you like it or not. Because as humans, you will grow. So definitely changes will occur. So you need to first accept it. Then maybe because of the sex education that like it's now becoming around parts. Even small children, they are giving them sex education. So there is this preparation that people and um, things have before getting to that stage. So accepting it, then preparing towards it. It is not when you now get to that stage, you now start preparing. You have to start preparing before you actually get to that stage. So acceptance then preparation comes very, very, very um, handy. It's, it's very useful. Then when you get to that stage, there is cleanliness too, as a lady especially. You know, you have to, you have to be, um, you have to be tidy. You have to, to be neat. I know that because of what comes along. Some people say the baggage it actually comes along with the female system. Um, thank God for our generation and even um, our mothers. You know, then there's this thing that they would just say that if a guy should just touch you, become pregnant like that. But I think they're already giving us what this thing is all about. Like they are, they are exposing us to the truth about these things. So I think it will come. It it will be very useful for the guys and the ladies too so from what i've said that uh, accept it that definitely your body will change hormones will change mm -hmm. things will change too then preparation, preparation. comes in handy too yeah. then cleanliness right. just be yourself like that well, thank you very much um was there someone there during your own period to uh, guide you to um, fortunately unfortunately like that i it was okay i was in the body and i was all through my secondary school and it's actually came like that during secondary school days. So just friends, then maybe the things we've been hearing, then what's the thing like that. Then my mom but you know it was secondary school. Then there's this shyness. There was this shyness like that. You know you going to your mommy and ah you know it is but now I think mother to child I think it's more free. Like you can just approach your mom and on like them. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, viewers. Wow. They are looking at you. Yes. You were not as big as that girl. Well, teenager. Maybe you're a teenager. <laughs> okay. Like, you, the way yeah. you are looking with this, your smooth face, yes. ah. you didn't even have the challenge of pimples or any other thing. So, yeah, so you, you were big, right? I can see from, no, from now. No, no. Well, okay, let me say I, I didn't have challenges with being on the, on the big side, um, and I didn't have challenges with pimples, it wasn't one of those things that came with puberty. But you know, there are times when you just want to be left alone. There are times when you can't place what is happening. Yeah, yeah. You just feel, there's just this mixed feeling of, Something is I can't, I, I, don't, I don't understand, you know. Yeah. So it yeah. happens, I can, I can actually relate with her. It's not really a very, very easy one. Well, that brings us to today's discussion. The and new me. me, yes, the new me, yes, that's our episode for today. The teenage year that you have is the stage for the making, is a face for the making. Diola, yes. do you know that particular stage yes. is actually not a childhood stage yes. and it is not an adulthood stage? Yes, you have to be careful. You might think, okay, I'm an adult, I might look like an adult because of some changes that actually happened. In me, maybe I have some menstrual cramps, I have big buttocks, I have big breasts, and yes. some things. And I actually look like mommy, but oh, actually, I you. am not mommy. Yeah, I'm still a teenage. I still need people to help me. Yeah. Yes, and it's also a time of growth. You know, the challenges and the, the, the difference in growth. When we talk about that, like there's an old version of you. And there's a new version. Yes. Imagine you waking up in the morning and all you see all over your face is pimples or going through the odors of menstrual cramps. And for the guys, the wet dreams, coarse voice, sudden increase in height, and it can be very challenging when you know that an error has gone and it looks like another face has emerged. 
So it can really, really be challenging. So it's, I think it's a time of discovery. Too, yes. It's a it time is. you actually discover yourself. It's a time you know your identity. You know that, okay, I'm a boy, I'm a girl. These are the things I need to make in life. These are the things I need to set to. So it's actually a time you discover a lot of things in yourself. Yeah. So teenagers, see beauty in the challenges that come with your growth. See beauty in it. You're a girl. You're a boy for a particular reason. So every challenge that comes with being a girl, because you're actually becoming a woman, is a stage for the becoming. So there are some things that will come al alongside with it. So see beauty in it, because the new you is actually for a better you. And I also want to tell you that you are made in the image of God. Yes. It was God that created you. And God is and interested, is interested in, in every stage of your life. And the puberty stage is not an exception. God is interested in that particular stage. He wants every to see stage you is interested in Yes, yeah, so those times when you feel, I want to be left alone. I don't want to talk to mommy. I don't want to talk to daddy. I don't feel no anyone understands me. God understands you. And God is intentional about you. Yes, he made you purposefully. And, and has a plan for you. Yes. So that plan should make you excited. Even while you're passing through your menstrual cramps, just know that you're becoming a woman. And you're fearfully and wonderfully made. You know, generations lies in your womb. And so when you're going through menstrual cramps, just encourage yourself that, yes, I'm so betting fourth nations. So this can happen now, but you it's know. It's a beauty stage. It's, yes, I'm building. God is building me to becoming a woman. And for the guys, even when you're going through mixed feelings, just talk to God. He's interested in your stage. Okay, let's go on a short break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. The same way our parents and our guardians and those around us were able to tutor and teach children while they were young. You know, for the developmental stage, you see a child, when a child is newly born, she be he or she begins to have neck control, crawl, stand, sit. I've watched parents teach their children how to walk, even how to crawl. They will hold the hands and, you know, oh, like teach this. them how to do all those things. That same way, that same concern you have, that she same be affection, first. even while they are teenagers, teenagers, please help them through. Don't leave them. They might want to be left alone, but don't leave them alone. Be supportive. Let them know this phase. You've passed through it and you have, you've been able to overcome. Yes. So teach them that you can overcome anything, menstrual cramps, you can overcome it. There are ways you can reduce your menstrual cramps, there are ways you can teach them to be better. Sex education, there are a lot of things to teach them during this time, impact values into them at this time. We really need you, they really need you, yes. And sometimes we might, even the siblings, the elder sister, you've been an elder sister, you've gone through this. Please try to do your best for them. And you might think they want to be left alone, but a larger part of them wants to talk to somebody. I'm sure you enjoyed this beautiful episode and you've been able to learn as much as you can. Thank you for staying tuned with us. And this brings us to the end of the discussion. Oh, we have to go now. In case you have any other information for us, you can always check our contacts on the screen. Yes, we would love to hear from you. We would love to receive your mail. We would love to receive calls and messages from you. Let us share our art together. And we are not alone. Apart from the host of angels you cannot see, we have great minds with us. We call them God's army. So whether you're a teenage girl, a teenage boy, a parent or a guardian, you can always call us. We we'll talk to people. You can talk to people. We have a lot of people you can talk to. Counselors, teachers of the world. We can see you through and help you through whatever challenges you might be going through. And don't forget that in things you you contribute your product. I contribute mine. And together, you'll build a godly generation for a greater tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Bye.